Okay, we're going to start recording what you guys are up to here, oh, okay. just for the fun of this. So, Virginia, why don't you introduce yourself okay. and our guest, and what day it is, and everything you think is important. Okay, I'm You're Virginia on. Watson, and I'm the curator for the Chatsworth Historical Society, and we are here on Monday morning, May 1st, 2006, to interview Ed Alstrom, John Edward Alstrom, and he's going to tell us about early Chatsworth. Uh, we're taping it and recording it, and uh, we're going to give them a copy of it when we get through. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're on. Uh -huh. All right. We were looking at things that were here in Chatsworth, and he's showing me on the map here where the Graves and Hill store was, and right across the street from the Graves and Hill store was the blacksmith, blacksmith shop. Blacksmith shop there. Mm -hmm. And then you said there was a fence. Yes, and a fence that went around the, uh, the uh, uh, Chatsworth Hotel, and and then all of the front of that it was an orchard oh. of uh, apples, pears, and and uh, other fruit trees, and uh, there was a, a driveway that came right straight to the hotel. Oh, That's right from there came right straight to the hotel. Okay. Through the groves. Through the groves, so there yeah. were trees. Yeah, there's trees all around. Now, we come down to the railroad track, mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. and there's then there was a road in there, and that's the road that they used most of the time to go to the hotel. Oh, okay. You want to, you want to draw one in? Sure. So, so this came over here to the hotel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yes, and here's there. the hotel here. Right? And then between the railroad tracks and this street were great big mammoth pepper trees. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Put a big circle for the pepper trees. Because uh, sometimes you can find landmarks by the trees that are there. That's one yeah, thing that well, helps. They're not there now, of course. <laughs> no. They're all long <laughs> but gone. somebody might have pictures of them. Well, that's true. <laughs> I don't know. I might have a picture. Oh, but you can't tell. Oh, well, really? we have the picture of the store out over here, uh, the, the front of the store. Oh, thanks. Now that's... Uh, that's the one you're talking about? Yeah, that's uh -huh. the store, but then that doesn't really... Doesn't show it, doesn't does it? really show it. Uh, but the store very, is over here. Very well. Yeah, the store. Yeah. Side, yeah. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. right across the street was the... And, uh, and a lot of the picture got cut off. I uh, see uh, the uh, blacksmith. I uh, uh, see there were two uh, German people that ran the hotel, uh, Hoffman and Worth. Uh, and then uh, uh, there was an Irishman that was the blacksmith. And so he and, and uh, I don't know why you want to hear this or not. Sure, all of it. <laughs> Anything you think of. And uh, uh, Clemens, owner of the store, after this one closed, then Clemens up on... Uh, up here that was at the Topanga Canyon and... Uh, and uh, Devonshire. Owensmouth. Owensmouth, okay. Uh, Owensmouth and, uh, and uh, Devonshire. 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 Okay. So they, Clemens went into the store then? Uh, yeah, well, no, I... This is San uh, Susanna, so this is Owens now. Here. So... Oh. And that would be Devonshire. Do Owens we have the store? Which side of the street were they on? Oh, the store was over here. This one. Then that building yeah. stayed for a long time, uh-huh. Yeah, and then there were eucalyptus trees in front with a tie-up rail for the horses. Oh! <laughs> I remember that. And that's yeah. the new blacksmith shop? Was it? Uh, this is a store, the oh, so yeah, grocery is a store. Clements, C-L-E-M-E-N-T-S. Oh, -E right across the street from the store was the Alamo Garage. Oh, Alamo Garage. Yes, that's what they call it, the oh. Alamo Garage. Maybe we can get that on there. Uh, it's hard to write on this garage. Okay, and that's that was cool. built by Mr. Matson. Matson, M-A-T-T-S-O-N. He used to, his wife yeah, was he, president of the of the PTA. Hmm? Same one. Gosh, I don't think she. Uh, it could have been one of the girls. Oh, maybe with the daughters or something. Yeah, I don't think it. Uh, I see. He was actually a 
his business, he was a realtor. Oh. Had his office up there. And I see. And then you have this building. That's, of course, that's the Lombardi building. Now that came later too. Right. That's in in the twenties, I guess, is when the anyway Lombardi building. The women's club met in the. Yes, uh, that's right. Right. That's for the, and that's where the barber shop was, right on the corner. On the corner here. Yeah. And for a while they had, I don't know what year, but they had the, a library for a short while in that same building. Well, yeah, yes, it was. A, and uh, also the meat market was in there. Too. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. a pretty good building. Yeah, it was a uh, good, good sized building. Um, uh, let's see. Then what? Uh, this building for a long, long time, kind of an open building. Juliet Wilkins, was she the one who owned this uh, later? I don't know who the owners ended up owning it. I don't know whether Clemens and uh, eventually uh, Clemens divorced his wife and, uh, and my uncle Art oh. divorced his wife and uh, which was the daughter of the uh, Paulson oh. family, you see, and she had the two children, Fred and Darrell, uh -huh. and uh, but eventually she and uh, Clemens got married, and uh, and then they lived, uh, I don't know, around Glendale, someplace, oh uh, all the years, and Fred, Fred was of course was able to keep in contact with his mother all the years. Oh. Uh, that's just some of the things. Just a little gossip. <laughs> gossip. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's right. what happens, you know, you know all about people in a small town like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And but your yeah. house was over here by the store. Yeah. And we've, we've decided that uh, actually, it, you know, it didn't even have a kitchen nor a, uh, a, a bathroom in it or anything. It, it had a closet in it and it had two small rooms and, and a closet and then the other little larger room was the uh, uh, was the living room oh. and it had a place uh, to put one of those little uh, metal uh, stoves, stoves, in it, you know, stoves for heat. Right. <laughs> you know and then on the opposite side of the wall as uh, I think Dad uh, put that in, and eventually because that's where the big uh, cast iron range was that, that Mom had to cook on, mm -hmm. you know. And then uh, then Dad brought water to the uh, the back porch, and we put a bench in there, and and that's where we just had our wash basins, wash. you know, that we used, and. and uh, and then we had, uh, uh, on the, uh, there was a, an ice box that to put ice in. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing. Where did they buy ice out here then? And what year was well, this? Well, the ice, oh gosh. They went to Canoga Park, somebody told me, that they had an ice house yeah, in Canoga they Park. had an ice uh, plant down next to the railroad track, uh, south of, uh, of uh, Sherman Way. Sherman Way, yes. And so you had to go all that way. <laughs> well, no, we didn't. I mean, they delivered. Oh, they did. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, they had a regular uh, delivery uh, service. So, uh, and I cannot remember how long we lived there, but I I know that we must have lived there for at least uh, ten years before we finally got. Electricity. Oh, <laughs> and how old were you then? Well, uh, ten years. I'd be uh, I'd be sixteen years old. When you were sixteen, uh, I'd be in high school. But I, actually, I was in high school because uh, when uh, we got electricity, that was a big thing. Now, let's talk about the water system. Yes. <laughs> uh, the water system. There was an artesian well. And uh, artesian spring, on, and uh, the water was taken from that spring. It was buried so deep 
and they, they had people that had, uh, they were going to find it, where it came from. But anyway, the piping went down uh, all the way to Lassen Street, and so uh, the Pilcher family and the uh, Ruiz family uh, tied on to that water uh, line that was put in, and also uh, the Iverson branch or uh, uh, home there on uh, by Lassen Street. They lived on the Iversons lived on Lassen Street in part of the time. Huh? Well, no, they lived on uh, Santa Susana Avenue, and because there was a uh, an acre of land between Lassen Street and their house. Oh. And then our our house that was so they were, yeah, where, they're where right here. Uh -huh. Now then, the, the, these are are marked for houses, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yes. Uh -huh. And now, do you know whose houses these nope. are? Hmm. Okay. Now, the, where them, where is the church? Uh, the church would be up. Let's see. Here's sense. Yeah, that's a church. There. Oh, this church. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> The first uh, place to come to from the church was the Ruiz family. Oh. And. Uh, R U I Z, I think. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. We R, didn't know that. <laughs> R. Anyway, and then uh, let's see. <coughs> Mr. Bert Myers bought the property, and that's where he uh, lived and raised his family after they moved down from Twin. Lakes, Twin Lakes area. Well, it wasn't Twin Lakes then, there was no name for it. Oh. But uh, they were up on the plateau up there on the mountainside. Well, anyway, let's get back to the water. Yes. <clears throat> the water came from out in the field, where we're out in here somewhere. The, I think this is the water coming down. Yeah, it came down, it came down here. here it and is, yeah. and uh, uh, this part would be. And then it. Uh, after it went across Lassen Street uh -huh. and uh, ended at, at the uh, Graves and Hill store oh. area. And that was our total water supply. So I... <coughs> and guys, so this was before, <coughs> before 1916. Okay, so a pipe was actually laid in the ground from this artesian oh, yeah, well oh, that brought it down there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't falling, this is a, a creek in the pond. No, no, it wasn't right. So it wasn't in no, the was pipe. Jim and said he thought that the well was more over in this area, not way over here, but it, but he was thinking well, he was right in the Well, well this would be far up. Their, their house is down here. Right. So yeah, now the, where is the gray house? It would. I think this is it here. Oh, okay. Now then, also, uh, Evidently, Mr. Gray, you see, I guess he was the one that put in the water system. He I must know. have been. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, it came down, and in front of the house, right on the edge of the road, was the two-inch standpipe uh, that came up out of the ground and went up with a big arm on it and uh, a valve. And so anybody wanted... Uh, oh, Floor. Can you yeah. stop it? Yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. The, uh, let's see, uh, that stand pipe, and that was water supply for everybody for all this territory. They would have their teams and bring a wagon and a wooden tank, or some of them were metal tanks, mm -hmm. and they would come there and fill up with water. So, that the, because there was no real good water, and that was real good water. And the, must, must have had a big supply, too, to well, do all of that. Well, there were, uh, now let's see. This is, okay, now this is the church. Uh -huh. Now this goes up to, uh, this is... And here's the, a school in here. Yeah, the school was there. Okay, right out here is where that spring was. Halfway between between here and the church, and just a little ways out here was a big channel that came down through here. See, mm -hmm. and went off, and there was an artesian well there. Another one. Okay, yes. so here, see this this uh, topo is showing the channel. 
This would be a low point right oh, here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you see now the, uh, the church was built on the high, high point, and uh, this channel came from here and went on a diagonal across. Okay, then, Down. then that, if now you're telling me this is high, then this part's the channel right here. Oh, and this oh, would okay. be the high point. Okay, so, this so now right this is the, the, okay, it's a channel, and it's, it's coming down and goes over to uh, Farrell. Uh -huh. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. That's Farrell. Okay. Yeah, and it, it joined uh, right at the corner of... of uh, Farrell and Lassen? Oh, uh, let's see. What's the name of the house that's, that's there at... Uh, well, the people that live there? People of the house that lives right over there. Uh, mm. I'm not sure if Lila were there, uh, she would know. <laughs> it's a small little tiny house, it's still there. It's still there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, still it's on our list of 75 year old houses. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> but I can't yeah. remember the name of the people. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Uh, they came from way up on, on Santa Susana Avenue. They lived way up there, but they built the... Yeah. Build a house there? The house there. I see. And we did, after Lorna and I were married, we did live there for a short time. Oh. In that house. But next to that house is a road that goes back in there. Is it still and there, you think, or still well, it was yeah, there? Huh? No, the road, uh, uh, I'm just saying, the road is there and it's paved and everybody travels back and forth, but that level on that road, original level to that, that was a crick bottom. Oh. Okay. And it was 10 feet deeper than what it is today, <laughs> you see. And that joined this one. Okay. And then it went right along on the east side of Farallone over to Lassen and crossed Lassen and then went down and through the railroad tracks it had a big, a big trussle for the railroad over the, the little over the canyon. <laughs> and where you travel on Lassen Street today, when you uh, cross uh, uh, Farallone, you used to have to go way down like that and then way back up again. See? And the water always ran there because the, of these artesian wells. Okay. Now we had uh, that, uh, let's see now. Where is uh, this? Is at Devonshire and this is Santa Susanna. And, uh, and this is the school, and here's the church. Yeah, put these two buildings here. One of them you said is the church. Uh -huh. you know the church the had the, the uh, parsonage okay. and uh, yeah, White Oak Hall. A, uh -huh. And the White Oak Hall, White Oak Hall was built in the 20s. And uh, it wasn't just the, the church only was there for many years. Yeah. And then uh, they on the south side of the church, they built the parsonage. I see. They built that in 1920 or 21. And, uh, sometime during those years. And uh, and they also uh, built the, you know, I can remember uh, dad, dad working on the, on the roof of the, of the uh, hall uh, that they uh, built in there and all, and it, uh, uh, I was allowed to, allowed to go up the up and down the ladder. I could haul nails up there and stuff like that, you know. Or if somebody wanted uh, water to drink, well then I could do that. You see. Uh, anyway. And you weren't very old when you did that. <laughs> no. But let's see. Uh, well, I don't know how far away. I was ten years old. Ten years old. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a lot of work. But anyway. Uh, well, Dad, when we lived up at uh, at the uh, the Gray House, uh -huh. north of Chatteris Street. North of Chatteris. Yeah, Here's it Chatteris was Street. north of Chatteris Street. Uh, oh. That's Devonshire. Here's oh, the Chatsworth Street. This is Chatsworth. That's oh, not Chatsworth. Oh, uh, you don't have Chatsworth. That would be Chatsworth. right. That'd be right about where you're about here. About here, or maybe in here. Yeah. Here's See now. This yeah. would be Chatsworth. This Chatsworth, is Chatsworth Street. Chatsworth Street was the, main, was the main street to go to 
San Fernando no, at no. that time, at, and well, those years. There's something the, here that Devonshire. I know. But, uh, but the Tetra Street was, was bigger on the older maps. Okay. Yeah. So they may have. Yeah, that because uh, uh, I've been with I was with my one my mother when we would come off the the homestead. Uh -huh. Do they have it marked on this map? Where the, the homestead it doesn't go far enough. Doesn't, yeah. Oh, it doesn't go far enough. The I small know. map I think shows way up. Let me get the small map. Okay. okay. Good. We'll get, I'll get. Up, you're talking about the one up in the Santa Susana Pass. Yeah. yeah. That uh, yeah yeah up the old homestead, and uh, of course, Dad took care of that for Great Grandma Johnson for a, a long time. Uh, she finally they talked her in the family talked her into moving down to Chatsworth, and then the family uh, built a house uh, there at uh, on for her there on Santa Susana, and that's. That would be in, let's see, you've got some of the things written in here. This is up here. There's Dorothy Pogue's house on this. And you bought and 20, and she bought 20 acres, I understand. And yeah. you all had a house in there? No. Or a no, family? we didn't. Uh, 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 well, let's see. I guess. Gosh. Uh, What's this here doing in there? I, what is it I saying? Can, this is my so big I can't read This is my understanding of what we have here. Is okay. That I thought the property um, the Johnson stopped property. at the Johnson property started at Tulsa. Yeah. And okay. then went across pretty much over to the... Um, or to, to the, the creek. To, to the, the creek, creek. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it, but it went past the creek because the... Uh, Ditto Graves property and is it basically to the other side of Farallone because Farallone ended up coming up through it and this property extended to the other side, sort of to this mountain range where the mountains started. You know, the, or the property. And it went up to the, the city line. But they started with oh. property on Sanford. So this Avenue. is an original city line and this is a city boundary. And, 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 the, and this is uh, Farallone here. Well, yeah, Farallone basically is pretty much where that white line is. Yeah, well, of course, now from. You see, all, all the way to the railroad track and all of this, and our, our down curve to uh, Santa Susana Avenue here, here was owned by uh, uh, what's Graves' brother's name? <laughs> Gosh. Graves, anyway, his and, name would be. <laughs> you just need what the first name was. Anyway, I worked for him for. Uh, while I was going through high school, and, uh, and oranges in here, the creek. Now this is the creek that come down mm -hmm. here. The old Johnson. Now, this must be the Johnson house. I think so, right here. Back in there. No, so this is the C.W. Johnson house. Oh, it's back house, over there. Right here. No. Okay. So this is the road that came in. Malaga is what it's called. Oh, okay. All and right. And then B Canyon, what's called B Canyon, comes right up in front of these yeah, three houses. Yeah, that's where Kelly and Leslie live. Right. In there. Right, so this is CW. I'm going to put CW so we'll know. Yeah, that's yeah. old CW. And there. this one's Leslie, and this Leslie. one's. And then the, this must be the. Then up close, they talked about the uh, Pogue. Uh -huh, Dorothy. <laughs> that was uh, Norman Johnson's. Oh, his house, house first, yes, because yeah. he was there. Yeah, and he was the first Boy Scouter. A Boy Scout master here. He started the, scout, the yeah. scout troop. He started the yeah. scout troop. And, and he was Norman Johnson. Uh -huh. Yeah. He was the youngest yeah. son of yes. Alan Niles. Yeah. And uh, and then right next to their house was Grandma Johnson's house. So her house was way out here. Yeah. Not Close, back here. Closer to. No, the it was it was fairly close to the street. Because of the pictures you know. Oh, it's about, uh, oh, probably uh, 150 feet from from the street. All right. Oh. Well, that's now, basically what the area is, is the Vargas Ranch yeah, right now. Now, mm -hmm. right out front here, or I'll, it would be right about here, <coughs> is where the, there was a creek that come down here. Oh. 
all the way down and then joined the way out over here. Okay. And this was deep <coughs> enough that uh, it was probably uh, oh, eight feet deep <laughs> there. And uh, so the highway, it was, it was paved, and, but it went way down and back up again. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I can see this is better. And I'll put that. That was her house. And this is yeah, that was. And then now, back, back over here. Now this is uh, uh, the Turner House. Oh yeah, the first Turner House. Yeah. First okay. one or the second? Yeah. Now the second one was the Haywards. Oh. House. That's a, was a minister in town. No. Nope. Hey, That's not no. the same one. <laughs> no, he worked for the railroad. W O R D. Haywards or Hayward? No, Hayward. 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 And Hayward was the minister then. Probably. Yeah, Hayward was a uh, minister, but uh, he came much later. Uh, Hayward's, they, they built a house uh, up by the railroad track. Up here. On Andorra. Right up here. Right here, so it doesn't quite show. Uh, it probably won't won't show it, uh, and uh, so then they moved from here, and this house was vacant for a long time, but finally was turned down, and done away with. But there was another house built in between, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually, and then uh, so, and I don't remember how long. It, uh, I don't even remember the name of the people. Or, uh, but it was built much later. Uh, but I was I just got through talking to to uh, Bob Turner. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah, he was a son. son. He was a son. Right. And Gilbert Turner was uh, that was his brother. Uh, he was in the Boy Scouts at the time that I was. Oh. When you get back to Boy Scouts, I was in Boy Scouts work for forty three years. So. Uh, did you take over from Norman Johnson? Or oh no, 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 no! I wasn't. Uh, Norman was uh, wasn't old enough then. Mm -hmm. At that time, but that was. Uh, that was 19, way back. Uh, see, I used to go to the meetings. That was in nineteen. Uh, Twelve. Nineteen twenty-one, I guess it was. I was eleven years old. Oh. Yeah. And uh, but the Boy Scout Council was not formed until either 22 or 23, something like that. And, uh, of course, then we were known as Troop 12 in the, for, for Boy Scouts. And, and we, uh, oh, one thing I might uh, mention, the, the flag, uh, they had, uh, after the uh, council was formed in Van Nuys for, for the Boy Scouts, they had a, a camp. Mm -hmm. Up in Elizabeth Canyon, uh, that's just above Cass State. Okay. There's a big dam up there oh, now, yeah. you know. And uh, anyway, Elizabeth Canyon was a marvelous place to go because it was just full of real old old trees, and it had a nice big stream of water running down uh, uh, through it all the time. That's a good camping area, but. I went with my dad uh, when when they tore the school down. Now mm -hmm. the uh, that is the the second school that was built, and uh, that that after the earthquake they had to tear it down. Right, and, 1933. Uh, but anyway, they did away with the flagpole too. Oh, so Dad hauled that flagpole on a side of a 1914 Cadillac that was made into a uh, pickup. And we hauled it all the way up, and that, and I don't know, I, that, that pipe pole may still be standing <laughs> at uh, what used to be a, uh, a Boy Scout camp there. But it turned out that uh, eventually it became a, uh, a, a boys' uh, a home for facility, boys. yeah, of, of some nature there. They, when the Boy or the council owned it, they did. They put in a big swimming pool. They put. Uh, they had a big uh, uh, hall that they built, uh, like, and they could feed a hundred, hundred kids, you know, at a time. It was a big facility they had there, 
uh, at that time. But I was going to mention uh, years years later they had a we had uh, lots of rains and uh, floods and stuff and. Uh, when the water came down, it cleaned out that canyon oh, like gangbusters. In fact, is the, the pool was filled clear up with sand and rock oh, and everything else. But I can remember going up there, and every, every troop had to participate and take a little part in cleaning that all out. We got it all cleaned out. <laughs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, and it had all kinds of. Uh, big sycamores and California sycamores and, and poplars and uh, cottonwoods and all. It was uh, a gorgeous, gorgeous canyon to go up to. Uh, that has a little bit to do with, uh, we did one, one time, uh, that's, we, uh, our troop, 12, Mm -hmm. Hiked from Chatsworth to Elizabeth Canyon. Oh, my. right up over the mountain. Oh my! <laughs> and I had uh, Uncle uh, Fred Graves uh -huh. drew me a map of it. Uh, on across the country, and then we we stayed in a little ravine. Bottles, I think eleven of us all. Oh. Uh, taught us the garden because everybody had a had a garden there at the school. The garden was between uh, how the the end of the of the horse barns oh. and uh, where Iverson uh, lived. Oh, so uh, where, did the school the, there. where did Iverson live? Then? Okay, now uh, so here's Santa Susana and here's the school. Okay, and then you. It was just above the school was where Iverson lived. Okay. So, and and uh, oh, okay. This must be the uh, what be they them, said. Maybe. Yeah, that's Iverson's. And the Williams lived there for a while too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, but uh, Williams <coughs> moved over here on uh, on Lassen Street. Way down huh? there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so. Right there on the north side or the south side? No, they're on the south side. Mm -hmm. Which Iverson was it, Pop? Yeah. Oh, over here? Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh Carl? Carl. Carl. Yeah, Carl. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see now. This is the Williams. And then here's this, the school. No. The school's up here. Right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you said there were horse well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, uh, I'm... I'm going to get something wrong here. I got to, that's, that's, that's not, okay, you're that's, allowed. That's not, you're allowed a few. Uh, gosh. No. Uh, well. The Williams no, lived the, here the, on. No, the Williams lived up here on uh, right what is the Devonshire. Right. right. Yeah. Right in here someplace. And yeah, you know, it was there, right there's here. There's some spots. Oh, in here. Oh, yeah, there they are. You can't oh, okay. see them. Oh, okay. All right. The, the, it was the, the big house. <laughs> we got a picture of one the, of them. There was a big house here, okay. and then right down here was their barns. That one was a big barn. Okay. okay. Now, you come halfway, well, no, let's see. Now, here's a school. So this may be a box here, right here. I'm looking. I'm oh, that, that, okay. It looks that, like there's two here. All right, then this is on the, this this must be then where the reservoir was. You see the graves. Yeah, that's one that people talk about where they went swimming. Well, we went swimming all the time. You see, everybody went swimming. That was graze. Now then, to be oriented from that point, you came down, and the here was where the. Uh, other artesian well was, you okay. see. Sure, and that's about uh, what was yeah. marked and how now, you're here. Uh, let's see now this is this is Devonshire. This is a Williams property. And uh, there's a a house in here. That was Uncle Will's house. 
Uncle Will. Uncle Will Johnson. Okay. And then the brown house on the corner of Farallone. This is Farallone. Here's one right here. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay. My, my uh, grandma uh, Thompson uh, and Grandpa Thompson lived there. Thompson? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's an original house. Now then, right straight on down is uh, is Uncle Will's. Right down. Right here. Okay. That's Uncle Will's. Not, not where, the same. Yeah. That's not, you got lots of Will's. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this is Uncle, Will's Uncle, and Will's Uncle, Uncle Will Johnson. Okay. Was, was there, yeah. Then straight on, that's where Shadwick's lived. Oh, I saw that. S H A D W I C K. They were the Grays, part of the Grays. Yes, that was uh, uh, one of the older daughters of the Gray family. Was it Sadie? Yeah. That's Minnie's That's best what friend. they called yeah, Sadie. That's what they called her was Sadie, by <laughs> golly, come to think of it. Yeah. She was very active in the ladies' aid in the church. Bless you. Oh, yeah. Now, you continue the this creek come down from uh, the hill property, you see. Mm-hmm. It did right through here. This is yeah. the hill property. Right yeah, here. and it came down. It came down here, and th this was. Let's see. It was about. It was a ten-acre area that come across. Oh, you got this house. Uh, on the second ten acres uh, out there, and that's uh, uh, Ted Miller's. Oh, uh, Ted. Ted Miller's uh, mother uh, was there, and that was uh, Ooh, that, that house there. But anyway, I wanted to say this was always known as the bogs. The <laughs> bogs. Yeah, because it, when, when the rains came. Everybody, you got your stock off of there, or you'd, they'd sink down, and uh, between the two just, creeks, it was, there was nothing. It was just probably nothing. Oh yeah, didn't drain well. Well, uh, there was another right straight out from their house, right to the creek. That there was another uh, uh, artesian well out here okay. that ran all the time too. And of course, uh, there was water running here all all the time, all year long. And run down to Lassen Street, and that's where it disappeared and down into the ground. Okay. And this has been changed around when they put Rock Point in. It's, oh, they changed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is where the quarry was going to see up there. I see some roads coming from Men's House down through here and put a wraps around here to some houses back in here. Well, now those were all put in in later years, you see. These, uh, these were chicken growers. Okay. And, uh, so these might have been barns and stuff then? Or later well, there after was a, the... No, there was, a big, there was a big home built. Uh, they were fairly wealthy mm -hmm. uh, that had the chicken farm, and then they had all the chicken uh, barns and everything in there also. Uh, right straight beyond that, would be where the church is now, and where is the church? It wouldn't show on here, but it would be right at the top of where what used to be Oakwood. I mean, the top of the border of Oakwood Cemetery. Well, it's this is sort there. of yeah. right in here. This is Oakwood yeah, Cemetery. Oakwood. Yeah, it's going to be <coughs> church is set down here now. Right there. Down in this area. We we'll mark it on there. It's well, probably I'm about where it's it is. More right up in along this side. Yeah. This is yeah. This is this little, come in and you see this, this little swale. You kind of there was there was a road that came from from Devonshire here and went right around the foothill, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's where the chicken ranch was built. And then that road was still there, and I think that there's probably remnants of that road still there, north of the fence line. Of where the little church is. Okay. okay. See? It's uh. And so where was the quarry up in here? About. Oh yeah, it was 
Just, well, we didn't, uh, the uh, cemetery was closed last night, so we, of course, we didn't get to go over there. But I wanted to get over there to see, see if those railroad rails are still sticking out of their bank just north of the church, mm -hmm. and just north of the chain link fence. <clears throat> they might there. be, but right now they, 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 you know, improved that part up, of, up behind the church. So they might have done something to it. Oh, they did? They might have. I don't know for sure. But that's where you're talking about. Oh, yeah. And, and they used to have yeah. a lot of defense. And that's the railroad, and that was the end of the tracks. Uh, sticking out of the bank was the old uh, railroad that the they used to, uh, to uh, go into the quarry. You see that? This one was a mountain of... of uh, Solid sandstone, and uh, and they removed all. You see, it's not there now. Yeah, it's piped up there. It's all so, taken and then you can see the dynamite, um, the, the holes where they drilled the hole put the dynamite they, in, yeah. and where it, it blew up. You can still see little place. little oh, yeah. half of it and stuff. It's it's interesting. We took some big hikes right after the fires when it had cleared out all the brush. And oh, we could I all see. All of a sudden, see everything. So you could see everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we cleaned it up. <laughs> it's just what fires yeah. have a tendency to do. There were more than one quarry, though, wasn't there? The main quarry was here, but there were other, in the books that have, they say there were a couple well, others. Well, and all over New Mexico and Arizona, mm -hmm. they had uh, sandstone uh, quarries, and uh, they brought sandstone blocks in from those areas, too. Oh, see? I see. So uh, it, it took an awful lot of uh, rock to build that. Uh, well, the, the thing at, at uh, San Pedro, uh, San Pedro uh, Harbor, you see. Well, we t I try to look at the topo map to figure out where that rail line went. And of course, the easiest way for them to build it is along the edge, where they don't have to do any filling, where it's all the same level. Or well, to see. look at some of these um, indentate peaks, yeah. where it looks well, like they might have filled to go straight, to get it level all the way. So. Things like this would have worked. Well, or, you know, you, you see just right, have to sort of try to follow where, right where the uh, road the same is. Up. Right where the road is in front of the office. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There at the cemetery, mm -hmm. cemetery office. That was 40 feet high, built across there. All filled in with dirt, and that's the railroad was on top of that. Okay. So it was and a lot higher than this. So that that. Uh, and I, and he showed, I don't he think took me anybody up there and has, me. <laughs> I don't think anybody has a picture of that. I don't but think so. the Mirandas used that railroad base and in later years and they drove on the top of that to go over to the to their home. Okay. Originally at the end of uh, Lassen. At the end of Lassen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's an old road that goes into what became the cemetery. And yeah. This is supposedly there. And that, the road used to go right alongside of the eucalyptus trees and drop off in the little canyon there and then come up the backside over to the... Uh, A little cliff like in the cemetery there. It was a hill. That was... Uh, no, it was. Uh, it's like an old a creek, another Yeah, there's a, back yeah, here. This, that and creek, and right it, it came here. right on down Lassa Street, parallel mm -hmm. Lassa Street, and of course, uh, where Andorra is now, my gosh, uh, that was about 30 or 40 feet deep in there from what it is today, mm -hmm. you see. Yeah, I know. The I know what they did with all that dirt. What is amazing is once the, uh, they bring those big caterpillars in mountains. You know, <laughs> yeah. They do. And it, it really does. Yeah. So, so it's hard to know what really was there from what's there today. Mm. But the turnaround. But these these topo maps right, help. Right in here, because Betty, uh, the father lived in here, and he had the turnaround on his property. Yeah, that's right. That is so correct. if they went to the yeah. Uh, here's the road at some point. Yeah, and the, uh, this is east. We traced out on a map uh -huh. where the railroad ran. Santa Susana, uh, come up here's Santa Florida. Susana awesome. Avenue, and it went down, and then the big 
big trestle in here and on down. That must be where the... And they've got two lines here for passing. Yeah. And well, they had the big turntable. Mm-hmm. And uh, Art and I were only ten. And uh, that turntable, land knows how long it had been sitting there without being moved, and we were able to move it. <laughs> it was really that easy. It had big, fat wheels on it, around a circular track, and, mm -hmm. and it was, all the railroad, everything was taken out that went from here on. Mm -hmm. But this still remained. Yeah. This was coming this way. This is Farallon. Farallon. No, well, right. Mr. Um, Summers lived on Farallon. Yeah. And it, so it was kind of so, diagonal. Bur yeah. Burkmeyer. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Burk oh, Burkmeyer. Burkmeyer is his name. Yeah. Do you eat that Burkmeyer? And he, he, was, right and he was south of Burkmeyer? Yeah, he uh -huh. was south of the. There's uh -huh. there a street parallels this one over here somewhere. Okay. And, uh, There's a big, huge. Uh, house on the right there where it was. It, mm -hmm. Yeah. And they found lots of uh, This is where the trestles were. You see, it shows you know, water running in here. Well, during the winter time, of course, it, the water ran a lot down through here. But uh, real heavy rains, this was a floodplain. This was, this was flood over. Yeah. And uh, uh, well, let's see. Or oh, another thing those kids used to do. <laughs> we come up here right on this hill. Uh -huh. Let's see. Now here's the store. Okay, come right up here. And right here on the side of the hill is a bear spot. There was a bear spot there. Okay. Let's get a bucket of water up there and we'd and it was clay kind of soil. Uh -huh. And uh, lots of brush all over except for that spot. That uh -huh. area, probably five foot diameter, maybe, and uh, we'd mix that up, and then we'd put thin paper over the top of it, and punch a little nail hole in it, and light it with a match, and it was there was gas coming out of the ground. Oh, see? okay. <laughs> All the time, and uh, and I guess that's the reason that. Do over here, now, they, careful. They, put down, <laughs> they put down an oil well over here, came outside over here, and put another one in. Oh, so they probably pulled most of them uh, But uh, they never found That's anything. Huh. They, they, where, where they were abandoned. At, the houses are built where that spot was, that spot, over the top of it now. Their house it's is there now. It's not a clear area. It's yeah. over where the houses were. Yeah. The people all, that are protesting. All houses now. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah. Their house something. Yeah. Now, before we mention um, this map is this is taken from this map. I just took a section of it, oh, but on this where this is Topanga here, San Susana, mm -hmm. going up, this is what's Iverson Road right here, mm -hmm. and there's a house up here. Yeah. Now, it sounds a little silly for me. I thought. Fernand Falls was up here, but why would this be called Iverson Road? The Iversons were also somewhere. The Iversons. Well, Ivers, uh, the Tom Johnsons, <laughs> the Johnsons sold property to the Iversons. Okay. They were long tenants. So, so they were. They started all this up here. And uh, and then that became a area where they made mm -hmm. movies and all that stuff on the Iverson Ranch. And he has that road, but the original road, it would come up and cut around, this shows, is this the railroad track here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right up opposite that little street in here, uh, the Johnson property, and uh, above uh, Kelly's and Catherine's where they mm -hmm. live. Okay. And you, there above this, the uh, railroad track was a spring. Yeah. There. Okay, that's the way they traveled. They had to, originally when they homesteaded the uh, the old homestead up there. 
they come up and cross the railroad track and at the spring and then they could stop and get a drink and or water the horses or whatever. And the north side of the tracks it followed all the way around to the canyon and it came back up and then the road came in to the homestead right up here. Okay, so that I think that would probably be this road. I think somebody's now named it Iverson Road as opposed to well, it was, it was oh, a freeway and they named it Iverson Road because what Iverson is? wouldn't let them put this. They put a road over the top and called it Iverson. Okay. That's that's when that road got named Iverson. All right. You know, they put the <laughs> that makes sense. So. And now there's some other old roads yeah, that now come then, up in here that now they, go across well, and go around. Yes, this now then. They didn't use this too long. Eventually they put the road around Stony Point. Mm -hmm. and came up and went across in front of the Iverson house. Okay, and there is an Iverson house that's sitting right the old about house. here. Okay. Right off of Red and the road, and, up to the and the road, uh, the dirt road that, that went to the homestead uh -huh. was uh, Iverson built the house right next to that road. Well, it got so dusty and dirty and they didn't like that, so then they went over to the little canyon here uh -huh. and made that on off ramp there and then went straight up and it had a, a it was a straight run up the hill uh, and had uh, eucalyptus trees growing all along the fence line there uh -huh. and that's the way the all the uh, Johnsons had to had to go uh, they, they got on the uh, the Santa Susana grave was all put in and everything, and they had to go that way and then go up to their homestead, and, and they, Iverson stopped them from, from, using, from the using the other, and from, it is, it just was So there, basically terrible. right now there's a road that is called Red Mesa that takes you up to the old, to an old, the old Iverson part of the old property, Iverson mm -hmm. property, and then further up, there's a road called Iverson Road that is, is on the other side of Rocky Peak Church mm -hmm. that takes you up under the freeway way up into this area. To the bigger oh, one. Yeah. Well, the well, area which is now all new homes, the mansions. Both of those roads. Yeah, that's the old homestead. homestead. Those, neither one of those roads were in there. Okay. They're all it wouldn't be on this one. Uh -huh. And the very first people that settled in the Chatsworth area were up there in the, the Santa Susana Path and the Johnson's first and then the, yeah. uh, the Johnson's then Williams and the Irish. And, yeah, the, the Williams over in, they used to call that Hylia Springs. I was going to ask if that was big, <laughs> There was a great big spring in there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there is, well, it's still on the map, it says Hylia Springs. Uh, really? Come <laughs> down the little camp there and then uh, my my grandfather uh -huh. and grandmother, uh, when they were first married, they lived there. Uh -huh. uh, right down in the, the bottom of that little uh -huh. canyon there. Uh -huh. uh, gosh. Which grandfather and grandmother? Yeah, oh, uh, Grandpa. They, they, Grandpa they all lived down at the bottom down there. Yeah. Where Doc Atkins lived. Where Doc Atkins. Uh, right, right down the Well, Doc there. Atkins built his his place quite a ways away from where they were. Because they were a little further up where the old eucalyptus trees were. Oh, they were on the flat where the eucalyptus yeah. were. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sorry. Dr. Atkins was very well known in the area, wasn't he? He was the only doctor for a long time. Oh, yeah. Bob Turner talks yeah. about him. <laughs> yeah. Can I back you up just a little bit? Because I missed that messing with the phone. Where was Doc Atkins' property? Oh. Oh. Well. In relationship uh, to, say, the railroad and this oh, well, fast road? Yeah. Well, his, his, his property was north, uh, well, where the where the road came along the railroad tracks and then crossed this little canyon right yes. here uh -huh. and then went up to the homestead right and Doc Atkins bought some of the property here which was which was uh, part of 
uh, Hialeah Springs. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, there's another great big that never did stop running even after the earthquake at uh, in Santa a, Barbara. There's a, an old camp of some sort that's on the south side of this road, of this road. It's on, um, it, there's an old road, old trail that comes along that uh, is an old stagecoach type trail that had, and a big canyon, it just sort of creates a canyon right down through here. And there was, um, was that the camp for the men? I think it might be yeah. the camp for the men, and I'm thinking and I, that it's on this side of the road, but near this creek that came down. Where that so bare spot came, is on the mountain there? Bare spot on the mountain. I a picture of that. One. In but the 20s, uh, they had a camp for I don't people. remember the name of the people. That was a ranch in there, on the south side of that creek that come down through here. Mm -hmm. And originally, if you go up to the top of the mountain, uh, where the uh, the Santa Susana, the old Santa Susana grade, came down over mm -hmm. the, from the summit, well, just as soon as you got up to the summit, there was another road that went to the south. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that that's the road they used to take because. Or during flood season, they couldn't. Right. They couldn't use this road. Okay. So they used that on the back side of that little mountain. Mm -hmm. You could look down on the railroad track and also uh, the hill property. Right. Right. Yeah, I've been up there. Okay. We, we did that hike right. after the fires. <laughs> it's the only time we could find the road. So, be darn. Yeah. And you can see how along the side of the road, somebody's gone into a lot of trouble. Even today, if you drive the San Susana Pass and you look to the left. I look south, mm -hmm. you can see all the rocks carefully placed stacked Stack to keep that road preserved. Mm -hmm. Now nobody's taken care of it for a long time, so there's a lot of areas where it's already caved in again, but yeah. you can see all that. Mm -hmm. It was completely covered, you yeah. didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But so they did that to keep from going through this creek area. Where yeah, it, was it, came, it came around and mm -hmm. you, you came out where that bare area that I was uh, mentioning. Mm -hmm. and that, and you dropped down the little canyon and then came on. Hmm. Uh, uh, Interesting. Uh, and there was a camp up in there for men in the in the twenties or thirties, early thirties. Oh, no, that was up at the, on the top of the mountain, right on this side. It was on this side of the mountain. It was. You could look right down on the hill property here. Oh yeah. Oh. And uh, it was originally built. Uh, What did they call the organization to put everybody, oh, okay. everybody to work? CC Oh, CCC camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. That's where the CC camp was built. Up on that flat section, yeah. on the top. Yeah, okay. right, right on top. Right off of Lilac Lane. Yeah. Right off of Lilac Lane. Lane. Flat, right into that flat like area. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they uh, paid people to come out there and uh, work. Yeah, they used. Uh, what was it? We we had such an infestation of uh, ground squirrels mm -hmm. and badgers in this area, and that was one of the things they did. They they just meticulous about covering every inch of the territory and putting down poisoned grain, and they, of course they killed everything. Yeah, <laughs> probably the birds and the birds too. <laughs> You know. Yeah. Well, we have wildlife left. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't know. So. Yeah. yeah. But they gave a home Details. for a lot of men from the Yeah, from they had people that, and they they earned a little bit of money, you know. Mm -hmm. And they, hey, there was no jobs. And, right. And uh, so on. That, so. that was that was in the thirties. Thirties then. Right. Uh, I guess. <coughs> Do you know what it was called? Besides just CCC, was it? It, it have a name. It had a name. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. I got tickets. Huh. We're recording again now that we've refreshed our tape. Part two. Part two. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we were talking about the uh, CC. 
CCC camp. CCC right? camp. And um, then we were talking a little bit about trails and roads and such, but we're... And, and you told us where the CCC camp was yeah. and explained how the men got to work during the 30s. Yeah. That's right. And, did, uh, did they come down and, and mingle with the people in the area or were oh, they... Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, had, they all had to work and, and uh, be doing what they were out here to to be done, whatever was, uh, they seemed to, uh, oh, they would, uh, of course, stop at the stores uh, once in a while, and I guess, and they'd get whatever they wanted, yeah. and if they were hungry or whatever. But I want, I want to go back to one other uh, trail now, uh, back to the uh, Miranda. Oh, okay. And, and uh, Paulson property. Uh, where I had pointed out uh, where the road went alongside of the. Uh, I thought I brought that over here. I did. I got it. Hello, museum. Uh, oh. That's still going though, so oh, you can still oh, keep oh, talking. It's oh, working. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, where the where the road went into the uh, Miranda homestead uh -huh. there. Uh, was right alongside of the uh, the row of eucalyptus trees and the oh. pen fence line uh, that was the dividing line between the Paulson Ranch and the Mirandas. Oh. Okay. Now that road went all the way up and over the top, uh -huh. and up there on the high point is where they built the uh, castle for the oh. uh, for the Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, up behind the cemetery then. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, Jack and the Beanstalk right on, movie. Right on this uh, point out here, wherever the high point was. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, that road continued on, and then clear over and dropped down in uh, to a flat. Oh. There was a flat in there, and it was all planted to uh, olives. Oh. The whole the whole area. And uh, the olive trees had uh, had never been cared for or anything, so they had all grown together and intermingled. Oh. And uh, uh, the reason I know about that is that Dad had sent me after uh, the uh, uh, cow to get her to, and bring her in uh, to be milked. And uh, nine times out of ten, uh, she liked to go to that spot up there. And uh, and I think if you're out uh, horseback riding, you ought to take that, take that road if you haven't already. Go all the way to the back, and you drop away down in a little canyon. And there's a flat in there uh, where those trees. And I don't know whether there's anything left uh, after the fires that may have all been burned up. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, but on that ledge, you can uh, there are some there today, and you can look straight down on the Paulson Ranch. But that's uh, they, we've heard other mentions of the Paulson family. They, they went to school yeah. here, and they were oh, here yeah. quite a long while. Yeah, well, they went to uh, they went to Surrey, and when the kids uh, were old enough, they went to San Fernando to the high school over there. Kelly and Leslie, uh, oh, they all went to uh, San Fernando because that's the closest high school. And did they take did they horseback or not? Because the Williams boy went by horseback. Uh, some went by horseback and some went by buggy and so on, you know. Uh -huh. uh, and some, uh, actually, I think some of the girls uh, would go over there and they were steadily for the four days of school or whatever it was, you know, and then come back home. Yeah. Yeah. And they, I've seen pictures of the stables over there in San Fernando. Oh, have you? Yeah, they have a, a, on the edge of the school ground, yeah. a big, long stable, and it wasn't really a stable, but a, just a covering for the buggy yeah. and the horse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, we used to, we had the stables, you know, at the grammar school here. Oh, did you have them oh, there, too? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they were, and it was the north end of those stools. Uh, it's where we had uh, our gardens. Oh, yeah. Uh, and planted. 
their, their grammar school. So that was up uh, by the street up here? Yeah. Oh, great. That's good to know. And you can see in some of the pictures of the school, you can see the outhouse that yeah. was there, mm -hmm. the Santa Susana School when they had yeah. that one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, uh, well, let's see. We got, huh. I, I guess I did uh, mention about, you know, the. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. They, yeah, that's what he was they telling, you, telling me were, about. Uh, they built that castle up there on that high point, and uh, and then so that there's a, uh, a picture showing. I think uh, one of the Miranda girls uh, had that had a picture uh, oh. with her, and I think she. Going to join join the historical society. Oh, N Vicki Norton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. She, oh, good. She's the one that has the picture, and it shows one of those buildings that they built for the Jack and Beanstalk. Of, for the movie. For the movie that was up there. And that was a milestone movie, and, and it's mentioned in the history books of history of the film. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And Lila and Bill had talked about it. They had a giant, a man who was a giant. Yeah, he was tall. I can remember standing there. Uh, we were at the Paulson place. And they put him on a sled and had a team pull a sled up that road uh, <laughs> with this fellow standing on it. You know. huh. Of course, they built a they built a tripod there on that sled for him to put his hiney on to <laughs> stay, stay put. Right. He didn't look to me like it. He was very stable. <laughs> He's so... He was huge. But, uh, no, they had, they, they built the castle twice, of course. Oh, okay. They built the, the first one and then the North Winds came up and tore it down and uh, before they got the film made and and they had to redo it, and uh, of course they really built it good then. They had all kinds of cables and everything else to tie it down to that high point up there. I, gosh, I don't know uh, whether anybody has any pictures of, of that castle being built up there. You could see it for miles, you know. It was a big thing in Texas. Yeah, it was Kids enormous. Go out of school and, and go up and watch it every chance they could get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what year was this? In the 30s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Early 30s. Early 30s. In the 20s. 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 Yeah, it's from 20s. 20s, I think. 1914 20s. or maybe. Right? I, don't, I don't remember for sure, uh, but I'll find out because oh, I've seen well, it. Well, let's see. I, it was... Uh, it was done about the time that uh, that they built the uh, the Chatsworth Dam, which was 16, 7, 17, and eighteen. Okay. Uh, they moved the uh, an interesting uh, thing when they needed a steam shovel up there and uh, to uh, work the, to build the dam, mm -hmm. and uh, they had sections. A railroad track. Wait a minute. One question. Chatsworth Dam. Are we talking about Twin the, Falls? The one at, no, at DeSoto. Aren't you talking no, about No, the one that's just north of... Uh, at the... Plummer. Plummer. Okay. Uh, Plummer. The the reservoir. North of Plummer. Oh, the reservoir. Oh, the reservoir. Oh. No, that's the old Trexler Ranch. Okay. Oh. And I have pictures of Trexlers uh, in their cars. They're in front of... Uh, of uh, Graves and Hills. Oh. So they had, they came, this was where they had to come to do their shopping or get their mail and all that stuff. They, yeah, the dam was built right on top of where their ho uh, home and barns were. Uh, and that uh, spot. But anyway, they laid track on Lassen Street and tied it into the main line and then they brought the steam shovel up and put it on that track and then they would run it, the steam shovel would run up to the end of the track and then they would pick up these sections and go around and put them, connect them back up again and then continue on down Lassen Street. And when they got to 
where the bridge is now on Alaskan Street, uh -huh. uh, there on the creek. Uh -huh. Well, before you get there, probably a couple hundred yards maybe, they turned and went straight over to the gap that went to the to the dam, where okay. the dam was. Fit. And they had to fill that all in and uh, build all that stuff up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they went over in here. And it, uh, the, uh, yeah, uh, our, our, that was 1916 when they did that art down there. And we would sit and watch these guys, you know, and probably, I don't know, probably, they must have had a hundred men, I guess, to, to handle the, those oh, rails yes. because they had long arm, wooden arms and with a metal clip on it and they could put it on the rail and then everybody at the same time and they were just right close to each other would pick up that whole section and then walk it down and then move over and set it back on the ground. Take a lot of men to do that because yes. we've got a small piece of rail right here and over there. Yeah. They're heavy. They're really they're, heavy. I mean, oh, you yeah. have to be somebody every three feet or so or five feet. That's they're right. Very no, they were just right close together. They all had to walk in unison. Wow. They were that close. Amazing. So just, man, uh, and uh, that great big monster, it, I wouldn't think it was big today, but no. I, <laughs> yeah, in yeah. those days I thought it was a steam something shovel else. Yeah. Oh gosh! And they kept that big boiler going all the time. It never did shut down, you know. Oh. But that boy, and everybody would yay when it could move it some more, you know. <laughs> Put in another section of, of track and then keep going. But they were. I think about the, the, the last I remember uh, getting down there, Mama said that, that that was no place for us to be. <laughs> and then we were in the process of, of moving to a corner of Lassen and, and, to, and uh, San Susana Avenue at that time. Uh, and so uh, we had work to do. Oh, is it that she made that kept us busy. So, uh, but anyway, that, but that was uh, kind of an episode in her life that was real interesting seeing moving that mm -hmm. heavy equipment and how they did it. It's just unbelievable. And they were building the dam then at Chatsworth Lake mm -hmm. or Chatsworth Reservoir. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. where the, that's, that was the machine. That did the, all of the, it. Yeah, the big steam shovel that <laughs> handled all the dirt to fill up the cars to haul the dirt over and dump it and all. Oh, a big undertaking. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think about the way that machines evolved that when they, in 1995, 98, whatever, when they were starting to dig these tunnels and move that dirt, they didn't have them at all. No. And, and all the railroads across the country were all thin before that because this was the last section yeah. of railroad to go in. Yeah. So, boy, they could have used them a lot earlier. They? <laughs> you see, the railroad uh, the necessity of invention. They you, finally got you, it created, and they see the the railroad used to go from San Fernando and go all the way around and through Santa Paula and that way. That's right, up north. And uh, and uh, so they started putting in tunnels here mm -hmm. because it shortened. Well, I imagine probably. I forgot an hour time. travel time off. Yeah, I have all that on these maps up, up here, there. all the, uh -huh. the details. Uh -huh. And uh, they had to start uh, with a, a small amount of stuff. They started with a horse and buggy getting the dirt out when they were first digging it. Yeah. And we've got pictures up there to show. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they uh -huh. changed a lot too, their methods. Uh, you're talking about uh, digging. Uh, uh, we get back to uh, when they built the second school. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one that was a hall tile that I went to school in, uh, the uh, the cellar, uh -huh. and they had to get that all that dirt out, and you know made a big hole in the, in the ground there. I did that. Oh, with the T 
team and Fresno. Oh my God! He had a just he operated oh, the Fresno. Fresno is a piece of equipment. And the scoop, right? Okay. That scooped up the dirt, and uh -huh. then you get it full. Well, then you tilt it all the way down, and it slides all the way outside of of uh, of uh, Devon just east of the Gray's Reservoir. Okay. And uh, got when they got that that done, uh, he was he was doing uh, when we lived at the at the Gray House on uh, up on Chapter Street. And, uh, and that was nice. He would. I'd get to go with him, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, I probably slept most of the time, you know. I was, well, he was. I was, I was only five years old. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. So that, that was 1916 that uh, when they 15, when they did 15. 15 okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because now, they, they had the school. The school was finished, and they opened uh, in time for for me to start school. Oh, they did. Yeah, <laughs> when I was six years old. Oh, and that's We great. lived at the gray house up there, off of Chatsworth Street at the time. And uh, did, did we figure out where this was? We put Chatsworth it on Street? here. Let's see. Because we determined this was Chatsworth Street, right here. Oh, this is the one we did, yeah. Okay, so we really we didn't, didn't put, mark. We didn't mark it. Mm -hmm. This house is. Uh, there's a house there on this corner right here. Oh, this is. There's a big. Um, Where so is this? These homes have all been replaced. Is, these homes um, have all been replaced. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, this, this is different. This, this is, is not Owen's Chatsworth mouth. Street. That's Devonshire. Here's Owen's mouth. This is here. Owen's mouth. And this, uh, San Susana or Topanga. So this is Chatsworth Street. Oh, okay. This is Chatsworth Street. Mm -hmm. here. This little. Yeah. See, and we, we were. Uh, there was 20 acres between here and where the Gray House was. Uh oh. And that's where. Okay. So uh, it's off from that. I'll just put 20. Who in the heck? Uh, 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 one, Freed. Oh, Julius Freed? Uh, Julius Freed uh, bought that 20 acres, and then Dad planted it into a citrus for Dr. for Freed. For Freed, oh. Yes. Good. So I'll put gray, uh, second gray house, or would that be second gray or gray? Oops. Well, let's see. The, the You're writing on gray. Tape. Yeah. It's it, 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 was, uh, <laughs> it was part of, that old house was part of Adobe. It wasn't all Adobe, but part of it was. Hmm. Well, is that... That was uh, an older. That was one of the first gray houses before they built oh, the other. Oh houses. yeah, before they built this one down here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Before yeah. they the ever first. built the one on Mars. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, that belonged to what's her name? Her her big grandfather. Uh, Miranda. Oh. No, no, the gray uh, family. He yeah, the gray. Oh. oh. Family. Margaret's father. Yeah, Margaret's great grandfather. Her uh, grandfather. Her grandfather. Yeah, her it would be her grandfather. Uh, hmm. Well, we're kind of jumping around. Well, tell them about okay. the celebration over by the dam. You yeah, did they go have over there? You when they finished you, it, you mean? Didn't they have big uh, picnics and things? And you were about that ice cream they brought out from L.A. Well, yeah. After or, the dam, after the dam was built, why, uh, Dad? I don't know, Dad and Fred Graves always put on a, a barbecue, and it was always a barbecue, it was a whole beef. They would, uh, and they always had a big Fourth of July celebration, and people would come out here on the train, you know, and uh, walk over to, over here, and, and uh, also, the ice cream was made in... Now walk uh, over to where? To where the reservoir was? The reservoir? Where the homes oh, are, or? right where the... Uh, uh, you know where the spillway is uh, that goes to the dam? Okay. There on Lassen Street? Well, it was just right alongside of that opening there under the oak trees. Okay. Oak trees grew clear up to on Lassen, and, uh, and that's where they, they put the pits and everything. And always had a big celebration. Always had a big ball game afterward, baseball game afterwards, and and 
we've got some pictures of the area oh, at different yeah. years. Uh -huh. Not not telling you where it was, but pictures of yeah. the yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I was going to mention now about the ice cream that was made in Los Angeles, and then they packed it in dry ice and and. Uh, and then that was our ice cream. We only, as kids, you know, we only had cream once a year, and that was Fourth of July. Wow. <laughs> and they brought it out by train, packed in dry ice yeah. to get out here. And then they'd go over there with a wagon and pick up those big 10 gallon containers, yeah. and they were enormous, you know, they were barrel size uh, containers. <laughs> and, uh, and they'd bring them over and and you guys probably had no out. problem eating all that ice cream before it melted, we, right? Yeah, it had. <laughs> ice cream like you can't believe High class problems, yeah, oh, quickly yeah. you can eat the ice cream. It was <laughs> always uh, a real fun time. Oh yeah, oh, another thing they did, uh, they'd have uh, horseback racing. Oh, oh, how fun. Yeah, they had that. Uh, how did you uh, do that? Oh, they had, they had a where the road went down towards the lake uh, in that area. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that, and it was that's, that's the way they, they did. I, you know, it was kind of just slept shod yeah. type of, uh, but everybody had lots of fun. And, and of course, if they had one beer too many or whatever, they and uh, I don't remember much about that, but that, did they fall off? <laughs> no, no. They never fell off. But, mm -hmm. but they had a finish line and, and oh, the yeah. winner. Mm -hmm. Oh sure. The now, all of that dam area where the dam was built, and that, that was all oat and barley fields, and the oats would 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 grow 14 inches high. Now you know what that is. That's that's pretty that's high. high. Pretty high. <laughs> you got a horse with fourteen hands. That's that's a lot. Pretty big. <laughs> Have trouble getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, use the step stool. <laughs> I, I remember uh, going down uh, to the uh, ranch down there, and we were living at at the Paulson Ranch at the time. And Dad hooked up horse to the buggy, and I I went with him. I don't. I think he went down to a borrow a two or something. I don't know. Anyway, he talked to Trexler for a long time, and uh, I think we brought back something, but I don't remember that part. <laughs> but uh, uh, the oats were as high as the seat on the buggy. Oh my God. As we went down the little road that went down all the way down across there. But uh, good fertile land, I mean, beautiful ranch. And, and I always felt badly that they wanted to make a dam out of it. <laughs> and then they found out that never could stop the leak, so yeah. I should have never, never built a dam in the first place, <laughs> in my book. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, did the Thrashers live anywhere near that too? Because they had a, a ranch in right there in that general. Maybe they were before the Trexlers. No, they, they were just a little bit further down. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, let's see, and then the, the where the Fry Ranch was, mm -hmm. and uh, then the, uh, they had the, uh, huh. I can't even think of their names. Mm -hmm. And oh, I want to see uh, what that Dickens was. Big John. What the heck was that up for Shell? Grant. Grant. Uh, Grant? No, it wasn't Grant. I, that's not, I can't think of the name of that. I think this, I think they have something over in, in uh, over in um, huh. oh, I can't think of the name of the the town over there. Uh, Where? Which direction? Uh, on Santa, on uh, Ventura Boulevard. 
Wooden Hills? Calabasas. No, no, the next. What? Calabasas. Calabasas? Cal yeah. Yeah, Cal Calabasas. Yeah. Over in uh, and that area. Cal one, of, one of the old families that used to live there, and they were just south of. They owned some land. Oh, uh, uh, the Orchid oh, family yes. owned uh -huh. land from the south side of, of uh, Roscoe. Oh, yeah, they still right live. up against the hills, and I guess they still they still do. own property in there. Yeah, do they? Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and that's uh, where the Orchid Ranch is. Yeah, the big that's ranch. right. Uh -huh. It's off yeah, Roscoe. See, and they own pr property up in the town of Orchid, up in Santa Maria. Oh. See, there's a town up there that's named Orchid, and right. that's the fam some of the family. And of course, they originally came, some of them from San Francisco, too. But I guess the, they uh, were really wealthy people, you know. When we went to the museum, the oil museum in Santa Paula, Paula yeah. they were up there, too. They yeah. had land up there. That's right. They were that. Uh, yeah, um, they were very influential in the family. I oh, mean, the valley, the oh, yes. orchids. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh gosh, I could uh, probably uh, all those uh, Canoga Park uh, annuals that uh -huh. I brought yes. down and gave uh, to the society. Right. Uh, you look in there, and you, you'll be able to. Start picking out all the families that were in the valley, okay. <laughs> and their and their their children, their grandchildren, their great grandchildren, and so on. Oh. And, uh, we'll have to look through them for that. Then. Oh, I yeah. should should mention about our bus. Oh yes. For the, the Owensmont High School. Now that was something I think to behold. <laughs> and what they did, they took a. Uh, Four-cylinder Chevrolet, uh, uh, one and a half ton truck bed, and they put benches on it, you know, and uh, and then they built a, a little canvas canopy over the top of it, and uh, that was our bus. <laughs> yeah, and they would make the loop, and it'd go uh, come up. Uh, Canoga Avenue to Marilla and across, and then come up uh, uh, Santa Susana Avenue, and then take Devonshire all the way back to Reseda Boulevard, and go through Zelza, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, which is Northridge now, yeah, and, uh, and down to Reseda, and back to on Sherman Way to the high school. That was uh, by the time they got all the way to the high school. I guess they had a had a load of kids. <laughs> it would take quite a while too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like these are fast-moving uh, vehicles. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't yeah. fast-moving at all. You know, it'd take at least an hour or so mm -hmm. uh, for them to make that loop. But uh, I was trying to think of the family that that built that. Was they lived on Canoga Avenue, uh, and they owned the property from Marilla. The plumber, I guess it is. The next street down mm -hmm. is plumber. Yeah, they own all of that and everything east of Topanga Canyon Boulevard now to the railroad track. See, that was a plot of land that they owned mm -hmm. the whole thing, and it was a big alfalfa ranch and, and stock. That's what they had. Anyway, uh, I can think. I see. They had a, a case going on in the courts in Los Angeles, and of course, Dad, right at the most inopportune time uh, for him farming, and he had uh, acres and acres of tomatoes planted, and uh, all around areas that I've talked about, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and he had planted, and he got called for jury duty. Oh. <laughs> and it was one of those things, you had to take the train in to go to the, for the jury duty, and then, and then uh, they, 
the jury got hung up uh, a, a couple of times, and so, and he'd have to stay there, I don't know, a week or sometimes 10 days before he'd get to come home. Oh, and so, uh, they had a father and son banquet at the high school, and uh, it was, I was just starting high school, I guess, at that time. I was 1924. But, uh, anyway, the fellow that built the bus, and he was the one that had, had that ranch, that big ranch. And so he, he acted as my father. <laughs> Substitute. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. So when they went into town, they had to take the train in to work on jury duty oh, and yeah. stay there. Yeah, and then stay there. And of course, uh, at, at that time we didn't we didn't have any automobiles. No. You know. And not no uh, not many telephones. And not yeah. Well, uh, we did have a telephone, and that uh, that brings back Norman Johnson was the telephone man for Chatsworth. And it, it was just our own private telephone line. Oh, we were connected to the to the homestead, and then everybody just in town was connected to the same thing. Um. So when the phone rang, everybody picked up the receiver. <laughs> you know. And we were connected also to, to the railroad station. Too. Oh, to the station. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he put the line in, didn't he, Norman? Yeah. He worked for the... Uh, he worked for, I don't know who we worked for, but... Uh, <laughs> no, <coughs> Norman worked for the Forest Service. Or forest Service, oh. Or fire, that's what he actually did. So he just figured he, out a phone system. But he knew how system. to do it, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. What year, were, what year, Bob, did they put that in the phone system? Yeah, that's important. <laughs> oh. Huh. Well, let's see, that was the first thing that we had put in in our house, was the telephone. So. Um, must have been 1917, maybe? Something. Oh, it had to be because, uh, let's see. Huh. No, I think it was before that because uh, uh, the, the telephone was in the store. Oh. In the store building? So that'd be 1913 mm -hmm. that they had it in all that time, but we didn't get it in our house until mm -hmm. after we moved down there. Was there a switchboard? Which was in seventeen. Yeah, was. Hot. Was there a switchboard someplace, or it was just the whole system was hot <laughs> throughout the whole. Yeah, system. the whole system was hot yeah. as far as I know. So it wasn't a switchboard. Yeah, there wasn't a regular uh, no switchboard. You want to call because anybody, any you time, rang it and rang you, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> when you when you rang up something, it, it rang up everybody. That's. That's great. I love it. <laughs> party line. That's a big party. Big there party. were no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> did, did they have any kind of a name for the telephone company? Was it the Johnson no. Telephone Company, or you just this was private? No, <laughs> just, just the telephone. It, it didn't. Uh, I don't know whether it cost us anything or not. I didn't know how that. That probably cost just to get the equipment put put, put in, you know, or however you did it. But, uh, well, uh, Uncle Norman, when he pat, uh, left uh, Chatsworth, well, he, he moved into Hollywood, and that's where he. Oh. Uh, I was in high school at that time when he moved into uh, Hollywood, and then he was in the uh, fire department, uh, Los Angeles County, I think. Who oh, was he? Yeah. Uh, he was up in that. He, he passed away in service. I, I don't know from what. But Anyway, oh gosh. And he's the one who started the Boy Scout troop. Yep, <laughs> he was. As soon as I see it, and that was early. When, yeah. When did the, <laughs> that was nineteen ten. About the time I was born, I think is when the Scout movement started in in America, wasn't it? Nineteen ten. Nineteen ten or eleven. Yeah, something I used to like know that. all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fades a little bit in my mind. When I was a trip oh, It was very oh, early. Man. I know because I did a lot of research on it, and it, this was the first scout troop out here in this yeah. area. Mr. Mendenhall, who owns the Daily News. And you said number 12. 
was your well number, number twelve was our was it uh, well, they with, had a change with the, with the council but mm -hmm. you see uncle uncle Norman there was no council here at all he dealt directly with New York. Uh, so you didn't all, have a number, you the just time. were the scout troop. Yeah, well they well, called them number we one. Were, we were called the Lone Star Patrol. Okay. That was our name, Lone Star Patrol. Yeah, yeah uh, Kelly and Les and uh, all of them were in it at, at one time down the line. Uh, well, it was interesting because they, they, when I first started working on finding out about the troop, they said, oh no, there were 12. They were early, but they weren't. And then I went back and they found all the information. So yeah. it really was true. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, Troop 12 yeah. of the whole United States. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. Details. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, gosh. Uh, I see that. Now that's one one little thing is that road that goes all the way up there, that flat way yeah, in the back. Yeah. I, I'd sure like to know what the, what's happened up there. Maybe you can take a ride up there and see no, what's there I, now. I don't think you can. It's the a road. locked gate, I think. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's too bad. Maybe somebody horseback might be able to the road get up around to it. Or could ride again? Go, well, he's talking about when you go up Lassen and you go up by the uh, where the Paulsons lived. Mm. And he went right down to where the cow was. The eucalyptus trees, I think they're still there. The eucalyptus trees are still there, I think. I believe yeah. I see them. Still there. Yeah, that was a dividing line between the Balsams and the, and the Mirandas, you say. Uh, the Balsams had lived here a long time, too, hadn't they? Oh, yeah. Same as the Mirandas. Yeah. But many talked about them. So yeah. I think they're in some of the pictures, but we haven't identified which ones they were. Oh, I see. Yeah. That, uh, no, the only, only Paulson that I can remember, of course, is, is, uh, uh Fred's Fred. mother, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Paulson family. I don't know where they moved to, I have no idea, but, uh, but the, the old home, Place, you know, mm -hmm. it, it burned down, oh. but it had a big cellar under it, you know, and I like all the old houses, that that old house that, uh, that we lived in there on the corner of last and it had a, a big cellar under it. Uh, and of course the store did too, because that's where the it's elevator went up and down into. You had and, an elevator in it? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know and that. They kept the, the cheese and butter and stuff like that, and it was all solid screen. And all the way down, that had there was a screen porch on the corner of the building, and that's and that's where the two doors you could open them up, go inside the room, open up the doors, and go down into the cellar. Oh, <laughs> and uh, and that's uh, that whole elevator there. Dumb waiter, they call it. Yeah. And uh, uh, you could ride all it. <laughs> solid screen all the way to the bottom, right down to the bottom end of the dirt. Oh. You know? but, uh, well, it wasn't big enough to get into the little popper. Oh, no, it was oh. just for no, no, it was just for yeah. food stuff. So you know, it was yeah. it was about uh, <coughs> probably uh, three by four. Three size. by four, yeah. Three by yeah. three foot by four foot, and. Uh, Oh yeah. Well, we were kids. We used to get into the dumb waiter in the house we had because oh, we were little. Yeah. You know, yeah. we could get in there and go up and down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you right. You could do it when you were adult. How's it doing? Are we getting? Are you getting tired? We got time. Yeah. I think we still have time on it, but we can quit at any time. That's so. The, the, uh, we can go drive uh, around, uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for that. Yeah. <laughs> what else we want? Uh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, you remembered most of the people. And uh, the the people that shopped at the little store, the Graves and Hill store, do you remember any of those people? Oh, as Tractors is the only one that I really remember, you know. Uh -huh. And of course they weren't here. Oh, when the Tractors left, they went up and, and bought uh, one of the uh, islands up in the Delta. 
oh. area. And, in Sacramento? Uh, and they were, of course, in Sacramento. Yeah. That's right. Dad almost did that. He did? Yeah, he, he went up and looked, but that was all. <laughs> He come back and says, "I'm staying put." <laughs> well, he didn't think he wanted any part of that below-level water area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, they were bringing the aqueduct down to the valley, so there was going to be water here. Oh yeah, yeah. see the water and the aqueduct was brought in here, and so there was plenty of water, and he could, and he raised tomatoes. Now, you take, uh, as I mentioned, south of the of the hill to uh, Roscoe. There. Roscoe, we don't have Roscoe on here. It doesn't go down that far. No, but anyway, uh, south of that hill, a uh, dam was built across uh, down there, and then you got that, the, the hill where Topanga Canyon Boulevard goes around now. Yeah. Or, or partly up over, I guess it is now. It used to go around at the base. Yeah. And uh, anyway, between the the base of the hill and Roscoe Boulevard and all and all uh, the land clear over to almost to the hill uh, area there from Topanga or Santa Susana Avenue, uh, that he always planted that into uh, tomatoes. He had a he con contracted to grow tomatoes for the cannery. That's what he did. And uh, all we Where was the well, cannery? Uh, uh, San Fernando? Uh, yes. Uh, it was, uh, there was a cannery and, and then they, and, oh, and then they, uh, they finally uh, got the cannery there in Van Nuys. Oh. And, uh, and that's, but, uh, At one time, the tomatoes, during the Depression part, Bill Shepler told about how tomatoes were down to almost the, That's right. And everybody lost all their money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's when Dad broke, went broke. And, uh, and that's when I made my decision that I never wanted to be a farmer. <laughs> Good decision. I think some things are just out of your control. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Can't control but the I'm weather. I'm still a farmer and, uh, at heart. Yeah, you you're that. still a canner and a farmer. <laughs> yeah, I still, still do things like that. But. I think that's something you should tell us now about what you do, uh, what a day is like for you. And, how many things you can? <laughs> what your different hobbies well, are? Well, gosh. <laughs> well, let's say I, I've got. Uh, I used to uh, go up on what they call Moonstone Hill up above uh, Browns Canyon, mm -hmm. above where the greenhouse was, and oh. what they used to call it. And the, the greenhouse is still there, by the way. And. Uh, but the reason we called it the greenhouse because it was painted green. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Very logical. <laughs> and uh, visualizing, visualizing a greenhouse, but yeah. now, now, yeah. now I know I'm just supposed to think color. <laughs> yeah. There was a big uh, uh, up north of the uh, greenhouse was a a large kind of area there and a big cliff and. And the maiden hair fern used to just grow rank in that whole area. Beautiful and big spring there. The water always was running. The uh, the road that went to the up to the greenhouse. That's the loop is that you come out of Browns Canyon and go up over the top to go to uh, the where the Nike base used right. to be. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Well. Where the, where the old gate that they used to close, so you couldn't get the Nike base. Right. And I'm, well, the flat just above that, you you can stand on that saddle there and look down into Devil's Canyon, or back into Brown's Canyon, or go up to the Nike base, and that flat was always known as Moonstone Flat. Okay. Oh. And. Uh, I could always go up there and after a heavy rain and
find moonstone uh, rocks and we'd gather them up and bring them home and that. But uh, I finally got in. I do have lapidary equipment and saws and uh, that was just a, a hobby thing. But I had uh, another thing I always, I always kept bees. Okay. And, uh, the one that got me mm -hmm. interested in that. Uh, the hives I, and, and uh, real natural bees. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Business in uh, I really uh, got inoculated uh, enough so that bee stings didn't bother me very much. I was, I was uh, north of, my grandparents lived in the uh, the house it was right on of Richard and Oldsbach. Oh, uh huh. There was a house there in Barnes. Let's see. And uh, Art and I were out playing in the old, the old wash out there, and I come along and we were we were racing each other to get back. I caught my foot on a something or other and landed in the brush into a yellow jacket now. Oh, oh. <laughs> So I was, did not get to eat that day. Oh, you did not. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, you probably swelled up. Oh, gosh, I swelled up. And hurt? Terrible. Oh, uh, gosh. But it made you but, immune then, too? But, uh, yeah, mostly I was uh, very immune. I could get all kinds of bee stings that didn't bother me much. But I did go ahead and, and uh, as a hobby, turn it into a business. And did it for quite a few years. I run, run a thousand colonies to, oh. for uh, pollination up in Kern County. Uh, mm. Johnny, and Russ can tell you about it. Uh, they they, they, all, they almost didn't get home one night. They ran off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Took out one of the signs on the ridge route grade. I don't know, or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, moving, moving colonies or doing stuff like that? Or? Uh, well, what I remember, we were, we were pretty down. Oh, uh, well, oh yeah. that's right. And uh, the week before, we had a bad, had a bad tire on for the guy over at the service station there on Devonshire and fixed the tire. Well, we were coming back down and blood nuts all came off of it. The wheel <laughs> oh. came off. Oh. And <laughs> we, we thought we were going over the edge. <laughs> now, somebody but, suggested we ask you about the honey business in Chatsworth during Prohibition. During <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey business in, during honey Prohibition. Business. Right. <laughs> I think that's a trick question. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no trick. Okay, well, you might not uh, want to talk about it. But, but I, I, okay. I got in the. Uh, well, My connection to going, yeah. to going up uh, <laughs> uh, for pollination, uh, oh, wow. I got that uh, contact uh, through Carl Arison. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Well, all during our uh, probation, uh, Carl, and he used the, the uh, he put up bees in the bottom part of it, you know, and then put up, and uh, would staple it. That's how we called it, but instead of frames it, and it had a false, uh, it had a bottom in it, so that the bees couldn't get up in it. But he could, he could put the whiskey in there, and they would, and he would go and, and uh, prearranged location, okay. <laughs> leave the bees, you know, for overnight. Then somebody could come in during the night, get the liquor, and and go on, you know. Oh, but they would know the difference. That was a neat trick. Uh, this went on for a long time. Yeah, uh, it really worked. It would take a lot. Most of people would not people even what they do it. Yeah. 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 Right. That brings back uh, a, a memory. Uh, there on Lassen Street. Where, where we, where we live. Uh huh. Here's Lassen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and then halfway down uh -huh. Lassen Street was a house with a chain link all around it. Uh -huh. High, high fence all the way around. Nobody ever lived there, uh -huh. but it had a beautiful 
concrete lined cellar, the whole house. And gosh, they were forever. Land knows when, I never did see it, but they bring in uh, whiskey in that cellar. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, and uh, of course it was behind locked gates all the time. And, and one time uh, they had delivered a, a bunch of uh, whiskey, I guess, and I don't know that knew that the whiskey was going somewhere there. Uh, close by. And so one night he, heard, he went out to see what the heck was going on and there the feds were out there and and our grape vineyard digging everywhere trying to find out where in the world he had the whiskey buried. <laughs> see, well, well he didn't have any. You know, it was down there in the cellar. <laughs> they were looking and in that, the wrong place. And that piece of property down there I don't think they ever found out uh, about it. I, I don't know. I never did uh, hear anything uh, of ever, ever uh, rip like that. Uh, that was the, of course, that's where Carl got his whiskey, you see, in the first place. <laughs> and it was still, a lot of times, it was still had salt water on it, you know. It was that fresh. And then, and then he'd put it, of course, in the, in the bee boxes, you know, and then he'd deliver his bees uh, from one location to another and of course he didn't know what went on what would become the whiskey after that. Right. <laughs> now, Harold, uh, Harold Johnson, was he the one that had the flowers? Yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did he raise the flowers for any particular reason? I mean, was it part of the bee business? Did that help or do it? No, he run, uh, he did run uh, uh, he had a, a friend in, in Pasadena that had uh, was the money person, and, uh, so he was able to, to buy and and uh, build up uh, hundreds, hundreds of colonies of bees, and he had bees all over the the north section of the valley, you know, and and uh, or I remember of uh, the. The sheep ranch area, which is north of Chatsworth Street, uh, above uh, I think Reseda Boulevard, actually went into it. But anyway, he had bees down there one time. He took off tons and tons of sunflower honey. Ooh. It was up. not tasting good <laughs> honey to me. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, he had, what, my gosh, he must have had at least 10, ten tanks, I guess, uh, probably each tank uh, probably would hold uh, a year of honey. They were enormous, the tanks, uh, old railroad, and he could, and he, he was from here. Just a bumper crop, oh gosh, but I could work in the, Ever has done so well. Was Harold uh, yeah, that was, yeah. No, no. No, no, Harold. No, no, no. Well, I mentioned no, Harold. Was, was, oh, was I see. CW. CW. He's talking yeah. about yeah. CW. Yeah. 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 When they grew the horse down there on Lassen Street, you yeah. mean? Uh -huh. That's uh, uh, was a street. And, uh, and that was uh, for high school. Uh, my second year in high school. So we. Uh, didn't make any money. I planted it in the sweet potatoes. The railroad tracks to Lassen Street, and then not half halfway to uh, San Susana Avenue to the oak tree. And of course, helped me. And, but I, he was, so he taught me that. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I didn't make any money on it, but I kept a good set of books. <laughs> <laughs> won me a free trip up to Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, let's see, it was a boy in Canoga. Uh, they lived there. Uh, their folks had had a house over, uh, which is now Topanga Boulevard, south of, of Sherman. Uh, 
it was just a lone house up there, and that's where they, but he, his project was beef uh, uh, stock. So, so he and I, but the uh, the Times uh, paper people uh, had a man, and he always wrote about agriculture and that sort of thing. And so uh, he used his uh, big car, and there were. Uh, the two boys from Canoga High and and two boys from uh, Van Nuys and and two boys from Reseda, there was a six of us. And we all had won uh, the trip to Davis and it was for a whole week. And so that was quite a trip going up through the valley and seeing all the cotton fields and all the, and what was being done up there in farming. Yeah. Okay? It, was, it was fine. Three minutes left. Come on. And it was cool. And uh, part of it. School, having agriculture. School, yeah. yeah. It wasn't 4-H or future farmers. No. It was just regular well, agriculture. Well, yeah, they called it future farmers oh, at that time. Still the same program. Yeah. It was uh, that type of uh, uh, program. Yeah. So that's well, how you got into gardening then. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Then, uh, of course, I, I did get in uh, later years. I got back into ham radio, and, and so I'm a ham radio operator. I still get on the air at 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, the afternoon. That uh, starts my day out. <laughs> got a routine. And that finishes my day. Yeah. So, you know, I, I get 3.30, well, I, I get to talk to guys all over, and we hash everything out. And then, uh, Russ and her, for us. Uh, okay. Cliff, Cliff and I, we uh, ha haggle each other who's going to get to the squeaky step first. So then we have our glass of red vino. Oh. We're, we're at our last minute, so we're about oh. to run oh, out okay. of tape. Right. But if you want to say well, I want you to say something about what you know today. You're, you're even canning food that you grew yourself. No. No? You're not doing no. that anymore? No, I, I go out to the, one of the ranches that... Uh, that I knew well, I did. I, I and I did work for a doctor for uh, ten years. Uh -huh. A dental doctor. He had three ranches. I did all the buying for him. Oh. And for all the, the three ranches. And so I got acquainted with quite a few of them. So uh, I still go to the, the, the people that uh, I used to get peaches and apricots from over in winters, and I still do that. Thank you. Uh, I have a note. So I say thank you because the tape's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. thank you very oh, much, oh. and you're 96 you're right. now today, uh, at, the, at this time, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm 97. <laughs> oh, there that's, you go. I have a marvelous memory, and it's just been wonderful yeah, for us. Thank you very, very much. Well, you're quite welcome. <laughs> that is uh, that's it. Thank oh, you. Dude, that was a, really a lot of work for you. We really 